Hello, I'm going to take you through some of the other features that we've got in WhirlyGig and one of them is a non-VR setup. So if I just sort of run WhirlyGig now. Now uh, I've unplugged my, uh, my, uh, my Vive and my Oculus so it should um, run without VR support. This is a clean installation um, so this is starting right at the beginning of your installation. So it, you'll notice these have popped up that's because uh, I do have them installed but I don't have them running so here we go this is a new uh, startup uh, and you can see there that the actual mouse cursor is represented there and you it can now move the window around um, it's no longer locked to the actual main display and if I click outside of anywhere in the actual player you can see it moves around and we've got an actual 3D environment. Uh, this allows, this basically gives you all the options that you have uh, with the uh, VR version, uh, but with the ability to look around and uh, navigate the actual world um, using the mouse. So let's, first off, let's um, go to the settings, go to interface and monitoring. Now in here you have some of the settings that allow you to actually um, work with a non-VR environment. So independent monitor. Now this is actually representing an independent monitor. So when you have independent monitor selected in a VR mode, uh, it will actually give you these same options and uh, same ability to use it like this while, while still actually allowing you to view it in the headset. Um, when you haven't got a VR headset in, it works exactly the same as the independent monitor, um, but the settings won't change within there. Um, you can see we've got mono here. Now it has 3D support as well. So we can go through all the 3D options. So gray, color anaglyph, high anaglyph, optimized anaglyph, true anaglyph, and mono again. So you can you can cycle through the actual um, stereo options. So if you've got a pair of uh, red green uh, stereo glasses, you can pop them on and see it within stereo. Uh, full screen sets it to full screen like so, and uh, oh, sets it back again. Uh, we have two options here. Uh, one is independent monitor field of view and uh, mouse panning speed. So at the moment, this is the standard field of view. Uh, and when I click there and go like that, it does that. So you can see the field of view there. Now I'm actually going to change the background here. I'm going to change the theme here. And I'm going to change it to clouds. So, oh, uh, so you can see now that we've got clouds all around us. If I go in here. I go to uh, monitoring, increase the field of view. When I go back to this, you can see it's much higher. Go back again, decrease it, and go really low. And then it's lower. So that gives you that kind of interactive ability there. So I've set it to 100, which is kind of a, a, an average. Uh, and the panning speed is the same thing. So if I increase the panning speed, then it'll do it really quickly. Uh, if I decrease it, uh, it's really slow. So those options there are available to allow you to um, tweak it to your your uh, desired preferences. Um, but I, I'll set them back to default now. Uh, one thing is is that we have the uh, cursor is lo uh, not locked to the actual screen. So if I click off and then go to there, now it is locked. So it won't go outside of the window when you're trying to pan around. Click back in, it's in the center, and it's now not locked. So let's load a video up. So go to the video settings. Uh, we've got uh, your standard video. Uh, I've got a collection of videos in my video folder to uh, test. I'm going to load, uh, which one I'm going to load? I'm going to load Big Buck Bunny. Uh, and it starts up there. We hit play as you would normally do. And there you go. So it doesn't run very well, this, uh, this film, in uh, Media Foundation. So I'm going to change that. Uh, so we're going to go to back, playback, go to video paths, I'm going to change it to direct show. Again, all these options are available in in the VR version and uh, now available in the non-VR version, which is the same same player. So now I've got uh, gone to that, it plays much pretty smoother now. So something to note is that um, now we don't have it locked to the actual screen. Uh, we have an advantage of being able to drag and drop files onto the screen, which is a new feature. So let me drag this one on and drop it there. 
So that's loaded it up now, but the window isn't isn't uh, selected, so I can select the window and I'm back in again. Uh, hit play. And uh, we have uh, we have the playback. So basically this gives you all the options that you need to be able to play and view your videos in a full in a VR in a 360 degree environment without actually having to have a actual VR headset. Uh, something that is quite you know, which is I'm quite pleased of with this is that if I go back to my selections here I have Vortex by Aaron Bradbury which is a fisheye film in stereo um, so I can drag that in there click back on the window so we have this 3D stereo uh, film which is supposed to be a fisheye so I'm going to change that to side by side which is what it is I'm going to change this to uh, fisheye uh, and it's a 180, I know it's a 180 because uh, uh, of the information given with the film. Uh, I'm going to change that to 45 degrees, as I would um, if I was in VR. And then I can play it. So you can see the actual film playing away there. Now this is a 3D film. Uh, and because it's a 3D film, uh, if I go to settings and then click on uh, interface and go to monitor and change this to anaglyph, the actual film itself is now playing in anaglyph. Now, if you were wearing a three a pair of anaglyph um, uh, anaglyph glasses, you would see this as a three D image. And you can see there, there's a separation um, in the actual video there as well. So, if you've got any three D side by side or over under films, and you want to watch them in anaglyph on a standard monitor, you can do so. All of these options are also available when you're using VR. So this can work totally. This is a separate monitor uh, setup, but it works totally independent with the VR setup. So if I had a VR headset, I could also watch this in VR and I'd see it in stereo and VR. And then on the monitor, anybody watching on the monitor would see it in anaglyph and be able to watch it in anaglyph and also look around in anaglyph as well. So they'd have an ability to look around while I was also having an ability to look around in the VR. Uh, so that's it for the actual uh, setup for uh, non-VR playback. I uh, hope you like it. Uh, if you want to look at any of the other features, uh, just check out the other uh, film, uh, other tutorials that I've got for uh, Whirly Gig and uh, for this latest version, 4.5 and up, and uh, it will correspond to anything that you can do with the non-VR version. So I um, hope you like it. Uh, look forward to getting your feedback and uh, happy watching.